Hello everyone, this is Barry Lee. I'm on holiday with my family at this lovely hotel. They have a fire engine in the bedroom, and the kids are super excited. So we have a lot of fun. And today we're going to talk about what you do when you are in China in a emergency situation. What numbers should you call? And more importantly, could you trust the policemen and the firefighters in China? Hello, this is Barry Lee. Today we are going to talk about what numbers should you call if you are in an emergency situation in China. I'm in Australia at the moment, and the answer to this question is really simple. So, if you are in Australia, you dial triple zero, and I think the number for the United States is nine one one. But if you are in China, you have to remember more numbers. Firstly, if you want to call the police. The number is one one zero, and、uh, if you want to call the firefighters, the number is one one nine. So unlike in the United States, it's nine one one. We have the opposite. We have one one nine. And if you want ambulance, that you should dial one two zero. So again, fire is one one nine, police is one one zero, and ambulance is one one two. And、uh, I do hope you are not actually in an emergency situation now. Ah,、uh, if you are, then you probably st- should stop watching this video and call these numbers immediately. I hope you are just preparing for your trip to China and want to find out what is the emergency number. Well, if you um Google, you probably have the answer immediately, but. The Google page wouldn't really explain what 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 would happen、uh, after you dial these numbers. So I want to briefly talk about that. Firstly, if you are calling these emergency numbers in China, it is very unlikely that they are going to take your call in English, unless you are in a major city like Beijing and Shanghai, because these emergency numbers they are operated by different cities, different metropolitan areas. And sometimes different, you know, different area councils within the city. So in some large cities, you would accept, you would expect, they have handled emergencies by foreigners in the past, and when they hear English, they know what to do. That is not to guarantee that they will understand you and send the right people. But you see, one of the benefit of having three different emergency numbers for three different services, that you. Don't really need to explain, as if you're calling from Australia, when you call triple zero, you need to explain. I need fire service. I need ah、uh, I I need a policeman, and they always ask you what is the type of emergency. And depends on which country you travel from. Um, normally your government would have a travel advice website. I know we do for ah、uh, Australians. They tell you what additional numbers that you could call to get help, or get consulate and protection, or special services that's only available to、um, to people from your country. And there are special insurances, travel insurance that they provide assistance numbers while you are in China or any other countries for that matter. So these are the numbers you should Google and write down in your、um, passport holder so that you don't lose them. And now we are looking at this very big lobster. I just want to mention this. Now this is、uh, about a couple of hours drive from Adelaide. They have this big lobster there.、It、used to be a restaurant slash function center, but it's already run out of business. So if you go to the place now, you'll be pretty disappointed. There's no lobster waiting for you. So do check if they resume business before you go. And this is a place called the Robe. Uh, about、uh, five or six hours drive from Adelaide. This is an interesting place for Chinese people. 
this landmark was set up by the local chamber of commerce uh, in memory of early Chinese migrants from China who landed in South Australia in this place called Robe and walked three days to Ballarat in Victoria uh, for the gold mine. And the reason they have to land here instead of in Victoria is because the Victorians, they did not welcome the Chinese gold rush migrants and uh, uh, heavily taxed them. So to avoid the tax, they landed in here and then walked three days uh, from this town called Robe to Ballarat. And lastly, I just want to say, if you are in China, Except for the situation where, um, you know, the police and the firemen really don't understand English and they can't communicate with you, you can totally trust them. They are professionals who are trained to protect your life in fire or danger. And it is perfectly safe to travel in China in most of the cities, uh, especially during daytime and even at night, because in China, as long as you are not anti-government, you are pretty safe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week.